I have faith in Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit of what I mean by this statement. And specifically, I'll be talking about the Vanguard slash Warzone integration. Warzone has been one of the best battle royales I've ever played. And I have played Fortnite. But Fortnite felt like such a different game for me. It felt a little childish. I'm not going to lie. Um, you had big adults and stuff playing that game because it was fun it was it was it, it brought the childish glee out of you even though you were an adult and that's what that and and that's part of Fortnite's success warzone on the other hand it brought something completely new to the call of duty franchise you had battle royale for call of duty and for me that was one of the best things i've ever played in call of duty the best things i've ever done and as you guys can see, Warzone is in a very bad spot right now. And with the launch of Call of Duty Vanguard coming up next month, I'm recording this on, on Halloween night. So happy Halloween to you guys. Um, Hope you had a good Halloween. Call of Duty has been with Vanguard coming out on the 5th of November. We have about three, four weeks until the integration into um into warzone and i'm not i'm not necessarily particularly too excited for vanguard um i kind of share the same thoughts as as um nick Merckx with i'm not really type of the the older guy the world war ii kind of stuff like i am over that honestly i cold war was was bad in a way for me that i didn't like how the feel of that black Ops did i loved the modern warfare engine i loved all of this engine from from modern warfare etc and i hated the cold war one i hated that that engine and mind you i'm only a new call of duty player i'm only a call of duty player modern warfare was my one of warfare 2019 was my first call of duty that i ever owned the only call of duty that i've played before would have been on my friends xboxes or ps4s ps3s and i never really had a call of duty for myself and I loved Modern Warfare. I was so I I started to get so good at uh, Modern Warfare. Like it was it was uneasy. Even though my KD wasn't the best, I still like was above average in 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 play style and and decision making on that game. And I loved it. And then when I started playing Warzone, it was just it was just a game changer for me. I loved to get on Warzone. I loved to play with my friends and everything. But now. Warzone is kind of in that stale place where you are constantly being battled by hackers. You're constantly getting hit by a lot of BS in the game. And then we have these sweat parties. Now, I I understand, you know, the wanting to be good and playing this game all the time. Bro, I want to be a content creator. I want to be as good as FaZe Neo and, and, and Nick Merckx at, at least and, and, and Hitman Isaac and Huskers and all these guys. Isaac, sorry, but realistically, I'm just an average player. I'm average in this game until I get to the point where I can spend 12 hours on this game every day and hop on and do what I got to do. Realistically, I'm never going to get to that kind of skill because for me, I don't have pure talent in Call of Duty and aiming and and decision making and everything i that is that is not where my talent is so with that being said i kind of wanted to talk about specific things first of all i'm going to talk about the anti-cheat now from everything that they've released about the anti-cheat and i'll put a link to maybe a blog post or something an article or another video talking about the anti-cheat and understanding what it's supposed to be I think this is going to be a huge game changer in terms of cheating, especially if the anti-cheat continuously learns and from from cheaters trying to cheat in the game and it keeps the level, the playing field relatively fair in terms of, you know, just the core mechanics of the game. I would love it if this anti-cheat worked out in such a way that we can be, we can hop on and not have to worry about people cheating on us. And that's completely fine. The second thing will probably be skill-based matchmaking. I dislike skill-based matchmaking. 
I just because I have a KD or just because I'm just above average player doesn't mean that you should put me against players that are absolutely dog shit at the game for me to carry them because then a lot of Call of Duty is based on teamwork. Sometimes even in even in in Warzone for us average players in Warzone a lot of our wins are based on teamwork and based on different things and if we're continuously if i'm playing random duels or random quads and i'm constant i'm the one good player on my team what's the sense of me even playing if i'm gonna be carrying the team it's basically a 1v4 and i'm not like these guys phasing you know? i'm not like these guys um isaac and and joe woe and all of these guys i'm not like that i don't play that fluidly I, even like aiden i'm not that could i'm not like that i mean i could but i would have to quit my job quit university and actually get on game and practice all the time which realistically is not a very realistic thing for the average player like me so skill-based mass making is just not very good for the majority of players on this game and even the content creators are complaining about it because they can't get good content when they're constantly being battled by or being punished for being good players. They're constantly getting against people that are sweat bags like them, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And I get is to protect the persons who are, you know, not as skilled as the majority of persons, but I mean come on, really? Anyways, Moving on to the engine, I hope that the Vanguard engine, I didn't get to play much of the beta, but I hope that the Vanguard engine, yes, it feels a lot similar to the Modern Warfare one, but I hope they don't change it too much because one of the best things with current Modern Warfare Warzone is the movement, bro. The engine, the movement, the gunplay, everything is just perfect. I love the Modern Warfare engine i love how this feels i love everything about it and as a pc player it just it's just so fluent it just it just it it's great bro like it really is as for um cold war stuff i hated cold war engine it was just horrible in my opinion keep the modern warfare one which is i'm glad that they're doing there are a lot of different things I need. I I I I really do. Let's go on to the the map actually before I get anywhere further. The map we've had this Verdansk for two years, and it's starting to get super old. They tried something with Cold War and making it a, a retexture. That was not very good, honestly. I mean, it was good aesthetic aesthetically, but. You got to change it up. Fortnite changed it up all the time. They added new POIs, destroyed others. You know, they changed it up all the time, kept the game pretty fresh. You know, you got to keep changing up certain play styles, certain rotations. Just change it up a lot more. And from what I can see from this specific Pacific map, it seems like it's going to be a lot better. And the synergy with squads and everybody moving around the map is going to be so much better. It looks like there's a lot of cover. I like the... They might actually have some tactical portions of the game now when, you know, the specific Pacific map launches. And I hope that they, the map is amazing. I hope that it works really, really well. And I'm looking forward to seeing this new map. Um, as for the, the, the plane and stuff, I'm not really sure how those are going to work. I hope they aren't broken. Um, like how Fortnite planes were broken when they first were added. Um, I really hope that they be careful with adding these kinds of, of um, things, but we'll see how it goes. And, and talking more about the Warzone map, I hope that they keep making it fresh. You know, every season they change something about the map. Every season something different comes. And then when the new Call of Duty wraps around, they should revamp the map. We should probably be getting a new map every, I would say, year, year and a half because Playing on the same map over and over and over again, it can get very, very dry and it can get to a point where nobody wants to play. And I get that it might be a business strategy for them to stop people from to 
kind of discourage people from playing the game right now so that when vanguard drops everybody goes and rushes to play vanguard and which i'm really gonna get into because when i go to vanguard i'm probably gonna play shit my level up on my gun so that when warzone hits bro those things are i got all my shit together you know um but iron charles let's move on to iron charles i think that this should be a permanent game mode in warzone Iron Charles just brought back so much, something so different to Call of Duty. And the time to kill in normal Call of Duty was just so, so fast. Like, sometimes you don't need it to be that fast. Iron Charles just brought that perfect balance of tactical gameplay and being forgiving for persons just like me who are average players to be able to pull back from games, you know? Pull back from being absolutely shredded and beamed sometimes. like it gives us a chance to react and that's that's a big 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 part in in keeping your player base it's not gonna just be the uh, the, the sweaty players you need the average and, and lord tier players as well you need people to have fun when they play your game and i think iron charles brought a lot of that for us we need a lot more content throughout the seasons like some of these contents in battle pass and stuff like I don't feel like we're getting all of our money's worth in some of these battle passes with the guns and the gun blueprints and and nobody cares really about the the emblems and the and the and the calling cards sometimes pack a little bit more stuff in there that we actually realistically would use you know like I get that it's a business you guys you want people to spend more money in the shop but how are people going to spend more money in the shop when you don't even add anything super good to the battle pass or even some of the shop content is just bad like pay more attention to that. i've not bought anything in the shop because i don't really like anything in there and uh, in my current climate in in everything and for me as speaking of my current climate for me as an average player with all of these lockdowns especially in my country of barbados for any new person watching this video i'm from barbados and we have been on lockdown and not lockdown but curfew mandatory curfews from 9 p.m to about 5 a.m for the last i want to say about three months right because of the whole covid situation or everything and you know with with us being a culture where most things happen at night most parties most outings everything just happens at night you know that has been a major deterrent from us you know having any type of fun so a lot of persons have have gone to video games and and movies and everything we're not like the rest of the world and yes i get that my country is a very small set of you know persons or whatever um but we 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 need to be put out there and not say we need to be put out there but they need to understand too sometimes some of the the players that they have you know they don't have any other option and you need to keep people engaged in your game because when we are we <laughs> We would rather be outside, let's face it, instead of staying inside and playing a game and take advantage of the persons who are ha who are forced to stay inside and play your game. Like, we're going to play your game all the time now because we don't have anything else to do. And with nothing else to do, you know, we want to play the game that is not going to be super hard and, a super, and punish us for being, you know, just the average player, you know, and... You have so much more opportunity to make things better. You have so much reason to make things better for 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 the average player, and they need to really start doing that. You know, I I don't know what I'm saying here, but we spend so much more time. I spend my time outside of my school and my job on this game and on GTA Five. I choose GTA 5 half the time over this game. I only really play this game because of my friends. I play this game because I have meaningful relationships and memories on this game with my friends. And 
you know, everybody, all of my friends are, at least most of them have gone over to Apex because it's been a lot better for them to play Apex instead of, you know, Call of Duty. Apex, just look at other companies. Look at what they're doing to keep their player base involved. There's, there needs to be much more content coming into the game every single time, every single season, everything. Like, come on people let's let's do but that's it gonna be me for my list i know i rambled a whole lot but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys agreed with me if you have any thoughts or any any agreements anything that you guys want to say about this game and anything else this isn't just for my subscribers i'm expecting this video to probably hopefully reach other people but if you have any thoughts on any ideas on how this game is gonna go if in the future is it gonna be successful is it gonna fail is vanguard gonna in gonna bring back the synergy of warzone bring back how fun the game was supposed to be let me know down in the comments down below remember to follow me on my socials there's gonna be a links in the description as well you can join my discord have a conversation with me but until next time i'll see you guys next time have a great day have a great week i'll see you guys in vanguard let me know when you use it uh hold on all right, are you going precision? No. Right left. I had least that man. I get least from the building. Oh my God, my shot's on! My shot's on today, Bucks. <laughs> Loving it, man. Let me get this shit. Alright, I drop my armor oh, box. Rich, so sweet, big man. I drop my armor box. Because I, I had nothing. I had to play it. I hit all headshots there, big boy. All. <laughs> Loving it, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. That, that, that push left was a good call. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. Precision let them move looking. back. Yeah. Still looking for that. For sure, they. But we need to be down there, big man. Like, yeah. I'm actually thinking we're still gonna be down there. Wait, man, I never, I never coming off of Heather again, big man. Right. When when they playing this, yeah, I see him. I know how I see him. Boots through, boy. I don't like this spot that we in right now. I prefer if we have tech a building. I don't mind it. I don't mind it because you can always rock left. Yeah, true. We got push into the zone down there anyways. Hey, look. Alright, I got a sight on that. Oh, you got a boar boar. Alright. Do you think? Alright, you're pushing. Oh, man. If you could, if you get that idea in that back corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Give me, give me a sec. Uh huh. Get your man push out. Yeah. My rapping though. I get two rap. No, they don't. No, 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 Hold on. Your man push up top. Push up them up, them up top, them up top. We got, we got move, bro. Zone. Yeah, yeah. We they move early. Man. They we move, move early. I don't like. I don't see nothing there here. Man in front, we at the same building. We right left, right left, right yeah, left, right left. Yeah, you see my dude. Yeah, right, right left. Right, we gonna win this game, big man. Right up. We already got any cover boat here, though. Yeah, like, you know yeah. if any boy should, if any boy hear me. You are uh -huh. here. So be careful. Go left. Wait, yeah, somebody looking. Wait, Front left. Somebody also, both sides. Oh, this side. Alright, let me push. Let me make sure we push left. Let me, I see, man. I see. I think I see, man. Man above me. Somebody jumping from behind. Alright, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Uh -huh. I got you. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, my stomach. Big man. Fuck.
I fucked it. I had a lot of money on me. If you kill that man, you, you get that there for sure. Oh, fuck. Woo! No. Shit, the only buy back up yet. Let me see. You got a buy, you got a... How far are you, Dave? Right oh, right here. Right here. Nah, nah, you can play you. You can play you. Alright. You see that? Yeah. I think you had a little bit, man. Yeah, you got a rock. Don't rock too far. There we go. Oh fuck, he's killing you off. He's dead, he left? But yeah. No, I missed the two shots, bruh. I would have had him. Yeah, he, he didn't say this. Fuck. Oh. I missed two shots. The man, that was not a bad game at all, boy. Yeah, but man, I saw so disappointed in that one, <laughs> that one, baby, but I, I can't believe I'm missing two shots, dog. Like.